They don't want to pass up anything useful. Very impressive, thank you. This may furnish a few pieces still missing from the puzzle. Kuru is endemic among the native population here, but the incubation period can take up to 12 years. Many of the natives here have built up an immunity which keeps the virus latent even longer. But this new virus is very different. It goes full-blown within hours. I think I may be able to create a vaccine, but to do so, I need a stable version of Kuru that hasn't yet mutated. Can you help me with that? Here. You must find someone from Ope's clan. Someone who hasn't had any contact with the infected and get a sample of their blood or tissue. Speak with the shaman, because I don't know if anyone like that even exists. Alright then. There you just need to find someone from Ope's clan who hasn't had contact with the infected. And they don't even have to be bloody alive. So they have a practice here where they... Every person in my village ate the flesh of the immortals, but many did not resurrect. The spirits are angry with us. The only warriors left are in the tombs of our ancestors. It is in the mountains near our village. Take me to your boat and I will lead you.
far before the first of my kind walked the land. Before this world even existed as it is, there was another time. The dream time. In this time, nothing had substance, and there was no life or death. We existed without fear, without pain, without purpose. We travel there in our sleep, for the dream time is always with us, waiting in the darkness. Spirits who watch over us rose from deep within the void and darkness and created the sky and the sea and the land and everything alive and everything that isn't. The great serpent who created the sea and great mother who gave us life still watch over us and many other greater and lesser spirits and their legions and their demons. With life came death, for our bodies are but flesh and blood. And when our bodies fail and our lives end in this world, our spirits are set loose to fly free with our ancestors. Do you see them? There! Spirits remain on this plane. They live in both worlds, the dream time and our time. That is why they are sacred. They consume us to become one with us, for they are the bridge between the two worlds, the world of the spirit and the world of flesh and blood. <laughs> 